All right, so I got some lime green kind of lighter patches popping up in the lawn, and it is Poa annua. Poa annua, this is a common problem people have. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and um, what I'm gonna to do to treat it and what I'm gonna to do to prevent it. The prevention comes later on in the like late summer, early fall. I'm gonna put down a pre-emergent and that's gonna block fall germinating seeds. And um, a lot of people think of pre-emergence as just a, something you do in the spring, but there's actually a third round you should put down later in the year. Um, heading into fall, that's going to block your fall germinating seeds and that's going to prevent the poa annua from popping up next year. So let's take a look at what this looks like and what I'm going to do. All right, so here you can see what I'm talking about. See these light green patches there, there, and over there? Um, they, first of all, it's a clumping growth habit, so they're, they should be in pretty distinguished clumps that will get bigger over time. So that's why it's better to knock it out when it's early. But, um, but color really is like the best way to identify that you have a problem. Your lawn shouldn't just have random patches with different colors in it. You know, that's when you got to get down and investigate. And um, I can even see it's just a different texture. It's, it's very smooth. Um, the, the color's different, obviously. And... The other way to identify it is the flower head. You'll see a flower and um, or seed head and see how it's very kind of weak and flimsy and it grows out and up and it's not dense. Kentucky bluegrass, for example, will have a very kind of upright, dense cluster of seeds. And, um, and this is just, you know, much weaker and, and thinner. And um, that's one of the best ways to identify Poa annua. All right, so I went ahead and used a product called Tenacity and sprayed it on those patches that I have. Uh, the active ingredient is mesotrione. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's one of the few compounds that will target Poa annua without harming your cool season grass. And um, now we're kind of going off label here. Tenacity doesn't really make any claims that it, that it does anything for Poa annua but it's just kind of a known thing that um, it will help knock it back. And so I went ahead and sprayed it about 10 days ago. Let's check out some of the progress. All right, so take a look at the results here. You can see where I sprayed the Poa annua patches. Now, one thing with tenacity is you will get a temporary bleaching of your desirable grass types. And this is my Kentucky bluegrass does have some whitening to it, but you can see lower in the blade, it's fine. And when I mow, this is kind of grow itself out and, and the color will come back. But what I'm more interested in is the Poa annua, which is the, the real dead stuff in here. That won't be coming back. I'm pretty sure of it anyway. So I will say that it's doing a good job targeting the Poa annua and um, not really harming the rest of my grass.